everybody what's good this is your girl and the bronze goddess and I'm actually here today to do a Sephora and Lush haul I have quite a few goodies that I want to show you guys from them um, you know bath bombs eyeshadow palettes mascara a little bit of everything there's Kevin Aquan there's Anastasia Beverly Hills girl I'm excited I've been wanting to show you guys these things for a while because I want to go ahead and use them all right but let's go ahead and start off actually with a couple of things that were sent to me so I'm with this company called Octoly you guys have talked about them before if you already make videos they send you free products to review it really is just that simple now I'm not sure exactly how many subscribers you have to have for them to send you products for free but I will leave my link for you guys to apply below if you already make videos they send you things from brands like Smashbox Real Techniques Benefit Cosmetics Miss Jessie's there's Laura Mercier on there like really nice products that you don't have to spend your own money on all they want you to do is to film a video review within 15 days of receiving the product that's exactly what I'm about to do today how simple this is about to be and you do the same thing and you can get free products to review on your channel so I'll link them below so you guys can check them out if you already make videos it's a great way for you to save your own coins okay so first up this is actually sent to me from a company called Miss Jessie's now if you already have natural hair most likely you've heard of this brand they've been a while I've been around a while for a long long time especially as far as natural hair care products are concerned who hasn't heard of Miss Jessie so this right here is their quick curls it's supposed to be in quotations they have uh, the best darn quick curl cream period excellent for wavy curly loose textures wash and goes curls superb shine lightweight lotion that's supposed to pump up your curls super slick serum defrizzer it, it gives a lot of promises all right uh, it has no sulfates no parabens not animal tested uh, no animal ingredients but the thing about this is I've actually used this not in my hair okay but I use it in my three daughters hair they have three different curl textures my oldest has wavy hair my middle daughter has coily hair and my two-year-old has curly hair and so I wanted to see how this worked now in my personal experience it worked amazingly and it worked the best on my middle daughter's hair if you have really coily hair really tighter curls I think this product is amazing for that it worked fine on my oldest daughter's hair her waves and also on my baby's curls but to me the product performed uh, just amazingly especially well on my middle daughter's coil so I definitely do love this product I'm gonna continue to use it I think it works really well as a detangler for all of their hair I like to spray their hair with a little bit of conditioner and water and then put a little bit of this on there and comb it through I like using this kind of thing as like a detangler so I've enjoyed this so far the next product that was sent to me was from a company called Galani now this one is a little bit interesting now I got this and I thought okay this is a lip gloss but the color is so vibrant in the tube I was kind of thinking maybe it was a lip, liquid lipstick but it is in fact a lip gloss so it's really beautiful this is in the color Frizon and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it so you guys can see what it looks like I had planned to wear it on camera today but it is so light that I can't wear it on its own but it's great to put on top of a lipstick like the lipstick that I'm wearing today I can wear this if I didn't want my lip color to be matte you can use it for something like that it's not super sticky it has like a peppermint type scent to it so this is what this is from a company called Galani and the last thing is the thing that I like the most out of the three things they sent me and it's from Smashbox Smashbox has a new mascara called X-rated is that what it's called? yeah X-rated but look how cute it is so you open the little package up and it's a very interesting looking mascara container and I really like the wand the thing that I like most about this mascara is I don't care how many coats you do it does not clump like it did not clump on me I hate that spidery lashes look where you know you put so much mascara on it looks like you have like you can count the lashes like okay she got four <laughs> four eyelashes because it's so clumpy I don't care how many times I go in this bad boy will not clump it lifts it's like a good bra it lifts and it separates beautifully I absolutely love 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 this mascara again this is called the Smashbox x-rated mascara all right, so before I get into the things that I got from Sephora and Lush, let me show you guys what I got from Macy's. Now, I'm a big fan of Kevin Aquan. I love the work that he's done on all the different celebrities and things like that. But the only product that I have of his is this right here, which is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. It's one of their under eye concealers. It is extremely pigmented. This bad boy cost me $48, but I feel, actually feel like it's worth it. As cheap as I can be, I think it's really worth it. So I wanted to try something else from him. So I decided to pick up the Lookbook Essential essential glamour little book that he has now this bad boy I think retails for $45 on Macy's if I'm not mistaken comes in this really cute gold packaging and then here is the little book which has like a little bit of like texture to it and then it has his name and gold lettering on the bottom super sleek packaging 
and then when you open it up it has a huge mirror I'm trying not to blind you guys has a huge mirror and then here are the colors now the lower two right here are actually uh, lip colors a vampy lip and more of a nude lip the two in the middle are actually blushes and the four on top are actually the eyeshadows so as you guys can see this is the kind of colors that I go for I really like mauve uh, type tones really nice browns and chocolates and berries for some reason I like that particular uh, color scheme a lot so I got this here from uh, Kevin Aquan. Now onto the things that I got from Sephora. Let's start off with the big things and I'm gonna show you guys the small things. So I wanted to get another Anastasia Beverly Hills palette because I love the Amrezy palette and the Artist palette that I have and I wanted to give some other things a try. So this is their self-made palette. Really cute packaging on this. And the colors look really pretty which is why I had to get it. It's definitely bigger than the other eyeshadows. Look how nice this is. Like so sleek and it has like a little name plate right here. You have to like peel the plastic off. Here we go. Peel the plastic off. Has her name there, which is really nice and fancy smancy. So here are the colors. As you guys can see, a really nice range of some neutral colors, but it also has a couple of pops of color, like that purple and that minty color there. The reason why I got this palette is because I've heard nothing but good things about this color on the end right here, which is called Pink Champagne. They say that the ladies are going crazy for it, so I want to see. I want to see what the hype is about. So I can't wait to try all of these out. Like I said, this is a self-made palette. So the next thing that I got from Sephora is another one of their dip brows. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I have the one in ebony, but I feel like it's really dark, and I'm almost done with it, so I thought I would try another one. So this one right here is in chocolate. I hope this one is a little bit better for me. I love the packaging on Anastasia Beverly Hills. Very sleek with this sort of rose gold uh, little emblem on the front of it. But I can't wait to try this out. I hope this is a little bit better. I want to go a tiny bit lighter on my brows. And I love the Dip Brow Pomade. I feel like they're worth the money because they last forever. So I have this as well. And then next up in this bag, I got this right here which is I got this on their um, their was it Cyber Monday no their Black Friday I ended up getting this which is this little Tory Burch um, little perfume set I thought this would make a really cute little gift it was only like 18 bucks and I thought it was really cute with the packaging and everything I cannot wait to give this to somebody as a gift not sure who exactly but this is like 18 bucks if I'm not mistaken and I've heard nothing but great things about Boja's skincare so I got two of their masks this one right here is in the Sabaki uh, Oil Deep Hydration Hydrogel Mask. And so I got, a, got this mask to try. And then I love charcoal. Charcoal does really well on my skin. So I got this charcoal pore minimizing hydrogel mask as well. Like I said, these both are from Boja. Perfect for my late night spa routines. And then I got a couple of other little things. I got this from Josie Moran. This is one of their $10 specials as well. This is um, their cleansing wipe and also has their Argon cleansing oil for like removing my makeup. I thought I would give this a try. And I thought this would be really good. You might see this again in a holiday gift guide. And then I wanted to try Jack Black skincare. I find that to me, one of the best values that I found uh, on Black Friday was at Sephora. Their little $10, $15, $20 deals were awesome because for a lot of people who want to try different brands but don't want to break the bank, it was the perfect time to try out different products. So like this, I've always wanted to try Jack Black skincare and I managed to get this little bad boy for 10 bucks. And this has the face moisturizer and also the intense therapy lip balm because I love matte lipsticks. I couldn't wait to try out a more hydrating, a more intense lip therapy for using that. And then I ended up using a hundred of my little points to get this Boja mask. Y'all know I love masks. They're my favorite thing. And this is one of the black peel away masks that I've been looking for forever. Alright, so now on to the goodies that I got from Lush. You guys know that I love, love, love Lush's bath bombs. You may have seen them in my previous pampering and nighttime routine videos and stuff like that. My daughters actually really love them as well, but uh, I, I typically break mine up and then I'll give them a little chunk for their bathtub. But I got this one especially for them. It's this cute little uh, baby blue little robot. This one's going to fizz and of course going to turn the water blue and they're going to think it's amazing and make it smell nice and all of that. They're going to be really excited because they wanted one for, them, for themselves. So I got that one and then I got this one. This is the second time that I actually got this one and this one is called Secura. It's actually really really big. Uh, to me, yeah you can put the whole thing in but they're really concentrated and really strong. I would at least like to break it in half but we'll see. Uh, so I got this one right here. Great for you know your little pampering routines and stuff like that. We take more baths. At least I do. And 
in the fall and the winter months. And then this next one right here is called Pink, and it's really, really cute. It's got these little uh, flowers on it. If I'm not mistaken, this one may have flowers inside, if I'm not mistaken. But I've had this one before as well, and it smells amazing. My favorite bath bomb from Lush, though, I will say is Sex Bomb. Girl, <laughs> okay? I'm not even going to... Girl, look. Look here. Sex Bomb from Lush. Woo! I love it. <laughs> I think it has flowers in that one as well, if I'm not mistaken, but it makes the water pink and it smells amazing and it makes your skin feel soft. It's just, mm -mm -mm. it gives you that come hither to your skin, okay? <laughs> and this next thing I got, I actually just saw my girl Jackie from um, Jackie Ina, aka Pumpkin Pie 05 and all that. She just hauled this one, so I can't wait to try it. This is my first time trying this one. It's a mm, melting marshmallow little thing, I guess. I'm gonna put it in the bathtub. It's supposed to fizz, I guess. I'm not sure. My first time trying this one. Ooh, but it smells good. I love anything that's marshmallowy, so I can't wait to pop this in the back again for my pampering time. And then I was watching Graveyard Girl, and she had this in her favorites. It's their bath jelly, shower jelly, and it says 93,000 uh, miles on it. Now this is actually like a jelly. I got this for me and also I thought the girls would think it would be fun to play with because it's almost like jelly. She was like playing with it in her hand but she can actually wash her body with it like jello. So I can't wait to try it and see if I like it. I got a smaller container of it to see if I like it, see if the girls like it, think it's fun. I like making bath time fun for me and my girls so I figure they may think this is pretty interesting. And that is pretty much it for my haul. Uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section which item you think was your favorite. Have you tried the Miss Jessie's Curl? cream have you tried uh, the x-rated mascara from Smashbox have you tried any of these things from Lush let me know your opinion give me your own mini review in the comment section below and be sure to check out Octoly if you make videos and you want to receive products just like I did for free all right I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video so next time later divas and dudes deuces honey she just watches in silence girl look girl. Uh, uh, uh. where I'm from they say go red <laughs> Woo, this color is so pretty. It is so pretty on my skin. Like, it just makes it look like the sun just right on me. And I just, I love it. I love it.